So let's say you're done with your measurement model and now you want to test a structural model. Well, it's, it's actually not that difficult. What you do to start with is you get rid of these covariance arrows. And just click on each, do do do. Then, um, for cosmetic reasons, I'm going to turn around my dependent variables. And I'm going to move my independent variables over here. There we go. And then I'm going to draw arrows from my independent variables to my dependent variables, just depending on whatever my theory is. Uh, right now I'm going to have a fully justified theory here. Um, and I'm going to say that uh, value also leads to loyalty. So we've got a pretty complex model here. Um, we also need to co-vary the independent variables if they're not predicting each other. And we need to put error terms on any endogenous variables. I'm going to turn that around a bit so it's not in the way. We need to name those error terms. Name unobserved variables. I'm going to make it look pretty because that's how I roll and run it and there it is voila we can also um, so you see the betas here and you still get these loadings um, more betas here and we actually didn't get the the R squares so let's get that standard uh, squared multiple correlations um, that will give you the um, R squares so here we go again and standardized and you can see the R square on loyalty is 0.61 and 0.62 on value um, very strong loading from trust to value that's 0.7 kind of a um, strong there weak here with a 0.1 agent trust to value not very strong I'll probably get rid of that unless it's part of my theory um, but I'm gonna get rid of it and run it again There we go. So, there you have it. That's how you turn a measurement model into a structural model. And that's all there is to it.